We have our pencil box ready. The kids are headed <laughs> back, back to, to school. school. That's right. And many parents, of course, are thinking about how to get those kiddos to enjoy some nutritious food that they'll want to eat. And our Food for Life chef, Susanna Dickman, is here to accept that challenge. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you guys, too. I appreciate this because uh -huh. I had seen, I sent you a mm -hmm. document about somebody talking about this, and I thought, well, Susanna can certainly cover this. Yeah, and what I like about these recipes is the children could help. Well, if you yeah, want them to. especially like these little pinwheels. They're fun yes, to make. Exactly, they are. Yeah. exactly. So, you know, you know me. It's all about eating for health and antioxidants and fiber. And Absolutely. so, children need healthy food too, right? Of course. Um, so, I've made some, and including dessert, I've made some great things and. This first is a green monster smoothie. Now, what, <laughs> and I love the name. Kids would love yeah, that. That's you, right. You could call it a slime smoothie, and they'd like that you too. You could they? too. And oops, but, I fell oh, out way up. Cups. Oh, oh my goodness! Sip it off there. So, so this, what's in it? This has a pear, or Tastes you could delicious. use an apple. It has grapes. It has kale. Don't tell the kids. You might want to make it. You should have Ron, told me. <laughs> but you don't know what's in there. Can no, I, can, I cannot menu? taste it. To tell you the truth, it, it tastes delicious. It yeah. really does. I can taste this the fruit really in there. Right. As much as anything, um, so. Banana and then just some ice and water. Mm. So. I got the banana too, right? Just yeah. now, really, that flavor. Right. But that is yeah, really, your there. kids you would love this. Yeah, they would you love it. You might have to sneak in the kale, or you could use spinach with them not seeing, because I've had some kids say, oh, no, I don't want it with that. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. But put it in and they'll drink well, it. Well, see, that's the thing. The trick is, and look, I'm not a fan of kale mm -hmm. at all, but if you can, you can disguise it, so right. to speak. Exactly. And my sister-in-law makes a nice Italian soup. It's uh -huh. got the kale in there. As long as it's a, a blend of other flavors right. along sure, with it. Sure, sure. Yeah. Exactly. It's good. Here, it and now here's another breakfast item. And this okay. is some homemade yogurt okay. and some homemade groat, oat groats or groat nola. So... Um, you know, you can go ahead and make your own granola or you can okay. buy your own. I put a little maple syrup because my, oh, my tofu is a little tart. It's a soy mm -hmm. tofu mm -hmm. that I make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, that I is. love that. I like it's got some crunch in there too. Right, right. Yeah, the, the, granola. the granola is crunchy mm -hmm. and the blueberries. Blueberries are good for a brain. So yes, if your child's are. eating blueberries and they're going to school, mm -hmm. their mm -hmm. brain's going to be ready to learn. And blueberries are good. Really? There's nothing oh, bad about so them. They're not repulsive. The superfood. And yeah. you can buy frozen because, you know, it, it, they'll stay longer mm -hmm. in the freezer. Mm -hmm. um, next, and this is a pinwheel. And I have hummus on here, some shredded carrots, and some spinach. Oh, do you? So okay. just a little bite if you want to take one. I'll take a whole one, and I'll eat the whole thing. And, and hummus, you, hummus serves to help hold that together. Hummus holds it together and right. gives you that fiber. Yeah, usually what I'll do, and I know, Susanna, you're not a fan of that, uh -huh. but cream cheese. But you you're right, you've got to have something that's going right. to be, like, basically the glue, right. you know, for it. And this could be a lunch. Well, if you don't make it into pinwheels, you can just keep it whole oh, and have it go. No, um, that is awesome. Now, this is for children and for adults. This is just a, what we call a dump and bake recipe. Mm -hmm. So it's got black beans and um, sweet potatoes and rice and a few spices, but not hot for children. I did top it for you guys with some um, some tofu uh, mayo mm -hmm. and some cilantro. Lovely. But this well, is, is not awesome. real mayo, we, get, we just have a few <laughs> seconds left, and I want to get so, to both of these. Yep, it. just a salad, because sometimes we think children don't like salads. Make a salad bar. Let them put in what they want. Great right. idea. That's a great idea. You know, right. and then we have to have dessert. And so we have. Brownies with a very secret ingredient. What is it? Do you want to guess? I bet it's not eggs. It's not <laughs> eggs. What is it? It's black beans. Oh, oh I love black kidding? beans. No, it's wonderful. My yeah. gosh. Susanna Dickman, yeah, food for yeah. life and food for school. Thank you, Susanna. You're I welcome. love black beans. I never thought of putting them in a brownie. Isn't that right? <laughs> black beans.